Back at it again, FSD 12.5.1, and today we're gonna be changing things up a little bit, and I'm gonna be adding some sunglasses to this drive. So here we are, immediately leaving the parking lot with FSD engaged. I think that is one of the coolest features. Unfortunately, it's supposed to go left, but it's gonna go right the long way, like some goofball that doesn't know the area. But anyway, maybe it wants to show me the new condos that they build or whatever, or this nice little uh, Buick or whatever I'm driving by. But as you can see, it already popped up. It said, I attention awareness is not enabled. So what that means is there's going to be indicators indicating that there's an indication during this ride. So I hope that wasn't too much for you to understand. But that's just me breaking down what is really happening. So let's speed things up a little bit so we're not looking at this boring old state of Texas. And let's put you through the ride and show you how it really works. Approaching this light, I was surprised it stopped less than it did at the stop sign. It was actually quicker at this stop than it does at stop sign. Very ironic, very weird, but whatever. Let's just hope that this new update doesn't nag like crazy. You know, no one wants to hear their name constantly called. Oh, already got one in. So there you go. It looks like FSD 12.5.1, it'll get the job done. But if you're wearing sunglasses, you want to look pretty cool and, and fresh while you're driving, you're going to have to give up that feature where you don't have to engage with the steering wheel anymore. So it's a little unfortunate, but that's just what it is. And looking into this now, I could see why they're requiring that. They don't want people passing out. They don't want people looking at their phones and ramming this car into some street fair or, or apartment building or a kid's class, whatever it may be, just killing people left and right. They want it to be safe. And it makes sense. You have the government regulations with Tesla and the, the road and the highway and everything. It just has to be really put into that perspective. So it's like, we, we want everything Tesla provides, and I'm sure they would by now. We probably wouldn't have a steering wheel, but there are regulations and there are certain situations where maybe, you know, FSD is not going to work perfectly fine in every single scenario. So I think it's doing a great job. It's still keeping you in line with the road. I don't know if you're aware, but when you have FSD engaged, you could actually increase the acceleration and it'll still keep the steering wheel in line with the lane. And I think that's the trippy part because you could be going really fast and just kind of speed around people. But there is a degree of limitation. The other day I was coming up to a turn and I gave it some gas and it looked like it wasn't going to make the turn and it completely disengaged on its own and asked me to take over. Unfortunately, I didn't get that on film. But it's just something that was uh, brought to my attention when I seen that. I was like, oh, okay, so if you do give it gas in a crazy manner, it is going to force you to take over and control. So, and what's unfortunate is when I was doing initially FSD 12.5.1 without glasses, I was really impressed about the fact that I didn't have to tug at the steering wheel. It was like a nagless ride and it was so smooth. And everything just worked great from start to finish. And I mean, you're starting from a parking lot and you're ending up in another parking lot, basically. When I arrived to work, there's a little small parking lot, so it just pulls right in and it's pretty nice. You can even pick your parking spot as long as it's open and there's nothing obstructing the view or anything. So I think it's just something we have to cope with and we have to maybe find a workaround. Maybe there'll be a new update. Maybe they'll even have a feature where you can sign off and say, hey, you know what? I'm going to take full blame. I'm not going to put it on Tesla or Elon. I'm going to take full responsibility, kind of like a personal guarantee. Why don't they put it in that aspect? Why don't we say, hey, you know what? I own a house. I have some assets. That could be a, 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 a collateral if something happens. And then we could take FSD to the next level, folks. Think about it. Your kids college tuition you've been saving up for, your 401k, your house, whatever it may be, your Bitcoin, you could tell Tesla and the government, say, hey, look, we want FSD with our sunglasses on, okay? So we're going to have these assets lined up. If something happens, you could take one by one. Say the first year I ram through a gas station and break all the pumps, but no one gets hurt or killed. Then you could take the small part. You could take my motorbike or you could take the above ground pool I just got from, from Hobby Lobby, whatever it may be. We have to speak up and make these deals with the, the regulation of governance because, you know, do your kids want to go to college? Yeah, maybe. Do Does your, you know, wife or husband love their house and you have great family gatherings there? Of course. But you're missing out on full FSD the way it should have been designed. We're missing out on that. Think about it. When you are laying on your deathbed, you're going to think, I wish, I wish... 
I had FSD with my sunglasses. So I want you guys to really think about that and put a perspective and just look at all your finances and say, man, how can we get rid of this nag? You know, he looks cool wearing his sunglasses. He's probably not that cool of a guy, but because he has them on, he looks cool and he's in a Tesla. But deep down inside, he's probably not that cool because he has to keep grabbing the steering wheel. You see what I mean? It's almost like an oxymoron. We've been waiting for this for, what, a decade now. And we keep having these regulations. I'm all for the sign-off thing. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you are still on the old software, maybe 12.4 or 12.3, hardware 3, whatever it may be. Let me know where you're at and what you think about these constant nags. You know, it's like... We, we work, you know, somewhat hard for these cars and we put in a lot of effort and we're trying to see this, this FSD take over the world, you know. I mean, to be fair, airline pilots could wear sunglasses and they use autopilot all the time. I mean, yeah, they're up in the air and they're more certified than, you know, public driver. But let's just, you know, let's look at those things. Let's compare, you know, and they're at more risk. They're, they're holding more passengers. We may be holding three or four other people, depending what model you have. Maybe if you have the Model X, you might have six other people with you. But aside from that, I mean, you know, let's really let's really look at it. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you like the new 12.5.1 update. If you're looking for something uh, newer or better, and if it's working out for you, maybe you had a different experience. Maybe you wear sunglasses and it doesn't nag you as much. Maybe they record driver profiles and and they put stats and they say this person looks down more. This person gets distracted by the phone. Is not really looking at the road. And maybe there's less nags with those people. I'm not sure. It's supposed to be a, an intelligent learning software. So maybe there's going to be another update on driver score. Maybe that could be something we could throw at them too. So hope you liked it. Enjoy. See you in the next one.